real show. And the artists went up and other people. And Bob had to go to a wedding, uh, which I'm sorry I couldn't go to because I really had to go to this exhibition. Because it was a big deal. So Bob comes home and says, you know, the funniest thing happened, Audrey. There was a woman there that looked like your mother so much that I couldn't stop staring at her. This woman looked like my mother. And at the very same time, Stefan, I'm in New Haven, and a woman comes over to me and says, are you Audrey Flack? And I said, yes. And she said, my best friend used to bring her dogs to visit your mother. Wow. Now, what do you think that means? Well, it sounds like your mother's spirit is trying to come through. Doesn't that sound? I mean, can you believe things like that? Because it really sounds, and it might have been at the same time that Bob saw that woman, and that this woman in the middle of Yale University Art Gallery comes over and talks about my mother. To me, so, yeah. Do you it, think that that there is that kind of energy out there? Um, I, I, what's um, what I've noticed in myself is when I have a need for contacting my grandfather. When I need to contact either of my grandparents, um, I have objects that I. It's not conscious. It's just some suddenly I'm I'm holding my grandfather's book, or I'm looking at his picture, and I realize oh. I've been thinking about him because one of the joys about having a very cluttered lifestyle is that I can just walk through a room with 2,000 objects in it and ignore most of them, right? But then if one of those objects pops out, that to me tells me there's something in my psyche that needs to connect with him. And, um... Yeah, but, see, these people are attracted to you, or they come up to you, for a particular reason, I think. I mean, th th this is what, it, it's similar to when you first buy a car. It, uh, we just got an Infiniti 37, G37, and suddenly, we're seeing G37s everywhere. Uh, they didn't all get, they were always there, we just never were thinking about them. So, um... I, I guess your point is that, yeah, your point is that the person came up to you versus, like Bob, just noticing someone. That she really didn't even know me, but, you know, because I was pointed out and I gave a little talk, she remembered that her friend. And she said, did you have a mother that lived in, in uh, Long, Long Beach? And, and then she remembered that her friend was very kind to my mother. Now, but for Bob to have the same experience in a totally different place at the same time, could, could I be calling that energy? Um, Audrey, you are disrupting my ability to hold the universe together it, by these questions if i no I'm, I'm quite serious i don't delve into these things because it distracts me from what my life purpose is and what i want to do is pass this on to mario because he has the ability to connect with some, some remarkable people and i think that he may have an answer for you how about that well it's interesting i mean i i, I I think there is a physicist, um, what was his name? Oh, I can't remember his name, but he talked about morphogenetic fields, that anything that ever existed is still out there in an energy form. Is that someone like Humphrey Dyson or Dyson, Freeman Dyson or something like that? No, he was British. Oh, okay. 
Anyhow, anyhow, I will be for you, there for you. You let me know, and I wish you a wonderful um, period of teaching. Yeah. And, and how is my friend uh, uh, Janice? Well, she's going to um, 